Hi everyone, my name is Marie and welcome to my short talk called Making Your Mark. I've been in the tech industry for more than 7 years now and currently I'm a quality engineering manager at Zoopla. I'm also a tech blogger at mariedrake.com and a Cypress ambassador. I like to be active in the testing community by being a co-organizer of a meetup group, speaking at various meetups and conferences, and sharing my knowledge on test automation, accessibility, and performance. I'm also an online course instructor at Test Automation University and Ministry of Testing. I'd like to start this talk by sharing with you all my journey to tech so far. I'm sure others will relate to this, but I actually first learned about HTML and CSS back in high school when I was trying to customize my MySpace profile. MySpace was really popular back then and during that time I was changing my theme, adding animations, changing the background image for my profile, and adding some background music. It's probably the least accessible page, but the point was I was learning how to code. Then, around 2008, I started working as a customer relations officer. I was working for about two years when I decided that it's time to study for my bachelor's degree. So around 2010, I decided to study computer science with business and accounting because I was still undecided what route to take, so I learned bits of everything. After graduating, I applied for a graduate role and this is when I found out that you can actually have a career in software testing. In 2015, I decided to go on a much more technical route, so I applied to become a test engineer and learning how to write automated tests in different programming languages. A year after that, I was then promoted as a senior test engineer. Then, in early 2017, I had to go on my maternity leave, and during the late half of that year, I decided to go back to work and was then working as a QA and continuous delivery consultant. In 2019, I accepted a new role as a principal test automation engineer where I built a lot of technical skills and currently, I am exploring my quality leadership and people management skills as a quality engineering manager. Then, in 2018, I was given the opportunity to be a speaker at an internal women in tech meetup. This was actually my first hands-on technical session where I introduced Cypress as a testing framework to the attendees. I remember feeling nervous and I was doubting myself that I'm going to mess up something but it actually turned out well. I was then also asked by my previous employer to travel to Edinburgh and give the same talk to their meetup event. I also participated in creating a quick video where I basically walk all day with a GoPro camera showing a day in my life as a senior technical test engineer. Then, in 2019, I decided to say yes to more opportunities even though it was very daunting for me. One of which was speaking at Women in Silicon Roundabout and presenting to an audience of more than 200 people. We talked about software testing trends and it was very well received. This is one of the many accomplishments that I was really proud of and I was really glad that I didn't let my fear of public speaking stop me from doing it. It was also this year that I decided to build my personal brand by creating my tech blog. I was so inspired by different people from the testing community who's been blogging for years, and I wanted to also share my knowledge that I have accumulated throughout the years. I started off by publishing blogs weekly as part of my career and personal development goals, and I was fortunate enough to have a manager that pushed me in this direction. I also started to leverage Twitter as a platform to share my blogs and connect with different people from the testing community. I also started reaching out to meetup organizers if they're looking for first-time speakers who wants to speak online and sharing my ideas to them. I also completed my first online hackathon that was hosted by Tools and ended up being one of their silver winners which helped me to boost my personal credibility. Then, 2020 came. During the first couple of months, I had really amazing news. I applied to become a Cypress ambassador and was accepted to their ambassador program. I learned a lot about Cypress and I really wanted to share what I learned to the community. I also connected and met up with one of the Cypress ambassadors and he came up with the idea of starting a meetup group and inviting me to co-organize it. We started the Cypress UK community meetup group last year and have been organizing community events since then. 
of course it's 2020 we got hit by lockdown but because i had really clear goals at the beginning of the year i didn't let lockdown stop me from achieving them I was supposed to have an in-person meetup, but we turned this into a bi-weekly Cypress lunch and learn sessions instead. In total, I had delivered 6 Cypress lunch and learn sessions covering different topics from API testing, mocking, accessibility, to CI integration. Because I started to build my online presence, other organizers started to reach out more and since everything is now online, it was now very easy to deliver these talks. The more I said yes to these opportunities, the more and more opportunities came from other people and organizations. Apart from my blogs and meetups, I also started to create online courses and have also given a 4-hour accessibility workshop and also became a podcast guest. I was basically collaborating with other people and learning from them through panel talks or collaborating blog posts with them. Now that we're in 2021, I'm happy to say that the opportunities are still coming in strong. I feel that my contributions have definitely helped me even with landing my current job. I get a lot of positive messages from different people on how I have somehow helped them in their testing career. I also often get asked the question, how do you find the time to do everything? And I have to admit, it is hard work, it doesn't come easy, especially if you're trying to juggle work and life priorities, but you just have to focus on the outcome and not the process. The process of writing a blog is very boring. The process of creating an online course, it was tedious and time-consuming. But if you focus on the outcomes that you will achieve after this, then the outcome will far outweigh the process. We're talking about making a positive impact to other people. So my first advice to you is to have a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. Having a growth mindset can help you not just with your tech career but in everything that you want to do in life. You need to believe that you can develop your skills by being consistent. Don't be afraid of any rejections or drawbacks. Put in the hard work required and build positive habits consistently. Surround yourself with people that inspire you and learn from them and make sure to celebrate their successes as well. The second advice is stop comparing yourself to others. When you compare yourself to other people, this prevents you from having a growth mindset because you make yourself vulnerable to all the insecurities that you might have. Be proud of what you've accomplished and show it off. It's definitely not cold bragging if you're telling the truth. If you do feel the need to compare, compare yourself to a previous version of yourself and see how far you have come along. And finally, just go ahead and start. Start that blog that you've been meaning to write. Start using social media platforms wisely. Start building positive habits. Start connecting with like-minded individuals. Start that online course that you've been meaning to take. Start that skill or a hobby that you really want to pursue. Just go ahead and start making your mark.